So I lost my job back in January, and knowing that I was looking for work, my dear sweet mother sent me this video. Today I'm gonna to be going over 10 no interview remote jobs that are almost always hiring, and I'm also gonna be going over the companies that are hiring for these roles. Videos like this immediately send off alarm bells in my head. The thumbnail claims $40 an hour, which is a lot of money, and the title implies that these are easy jobs that anyone can work with no experience. I'd never heard of Shane Hummus before, but he has nearly three quarters of a million subscribers, so I figured I'd give the video a watch and see what I think. Spoiler alert, it's garbage absolute hot garbage. But the thing is, it's polished, shiny garbage, which I think is the most dangerous kind of garbage. This sent me down an entire Shane Hummus rabbit hole, and I wanna take a little time here to break down this video, talk about the lies that Shane tells, and how grifters like Shane take advantage of vulnerable people for profit. To start, this is obviously not Shane's most recent video, but it went pretty viral relative to his other recent offerings, so I think it's as good a video as any to analyze. He pumps out low quality crap like this three or four times a week, so it would be exhausting to try and keep up. It's funny though, if you look through his channel, he uses the same three or four generic pictures for all of his thumbnails. He just photoshops them in different ways and puts different BS numbers in the background. He also puts this disclaimer in every video description, and I think it might be the biggest red flag of them all. Pause if you want to give it a read. The information presented shall not be construed as financial advice. Good thing this entire video isn't financial advice. The whole disclaimer is laughable. It reads like he asked ChatGPT to generate a disclaimer that sounds like it was written by a lawyer. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if ChatGPT contributes heavily to the writing of Shane's videos. They're all exactly the same, and he basically 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 and he basically says the same thing about every job. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. You don't need a college degree, previous experience. Doesn't need a college degree or previous experience. He doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Doesn't require a college degree. You don't need a bunch of experience. And it's extremely easy to get into. He also always mentions his team and the insane amount of research they do. So my team and I spent dozens of hours researching this and there's actually 68 pages of research data. Yet he presents no pages. Where are the pages, Shane? My team and I did over a hundred hours of research and we spent about a hundred hours researching this one. But he credits no team in his descriptions and his sources aren't even links. He just claims to cite the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Glassdoor, and some website called Payscale. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Getting into the video itself, he kicks it off by ensuring you that these are great opportunities before showing you some red pill imagery. Gee, he's so subtle. He then mentions that these are probably companies you've never heard of, which is always a good sign. Oh, and of course, he asks you to gently tap the like button before he gets started. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button. That, by the way, is the first of six times that he asks you to engage with the video, but who's counting? The first job he talks about is being a Toliker for a company called Tolica. If you want to find their hiring website, happy Googling, because Shane has this extremely annoying habit of just putting the links on the screen instead of in his video description. Drove me bonkers when I was researching this video. Tolica is one of those sketchy companies that pays you to do online micro tasks that pay a few cents a piece. Some supposedly pay more, but with higher paying tasks likely being in higher demand, they're few and far between. He cites a more than three year old Reddit comment from someone in Algeria claiming that they make five to six dollars an hour, which is a lot for Algeria, and that's it. That's all the salary data he cites. The comment is so outdated that it claims you can withdraw through PayPal, which Tolica doesn't even use anymore. They use a service called Payoneer. There are also withdrawal fees to get paid, and you can't withdraw until you've made a certain amount of money. The commenter claims it's two cents, but according to Tolica's website, it's a $20 minimum. Doing some basic math, at 25 cents a task, which is very generous, you'd have to do 400 a month just to make $100, and that's not even factoring in withdrawal fees. Shane gives this a 6 out of 10 opportunity score, but I give it a two. The second job is a search quality rater for We Localize. This is apparently a job where you evaluate search engine results, though naturally Shane shows us the full-time on-site jobs in the video, not the remote search quality rater jobs. And he doesn't show those because he claims through an unnamed source that the jobs pay forty-six dollars to $83,000 a year, when in fact, the jobs are part-time only and pay $15 an hour at the most. That's $19,500 a year before taxes, by the way. And if you're outside the US, the pay rates are much much, much lower. You also have to sign an NDA, you can't have any prior experience, and you're not paid while you train. Shane gives this job an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score, the highest on the whole list. 
Isn't that nice? I give it a three. The third job is a similar story to the last one. You're a social media evaluator for a company called TELUS International, and supposedly this is a forty to $62,000 a year job, but I have no idea where he gets these numbers. The job listing on TELUS International's website, which is for a raider, by the way, there is no job called social media evaluator, but the job listing says it's part-time only, 25 hours a week, and the pay is $12 to $13 an hour, even lower than we localize. Seems to be about the same shtick, though. They make sure you speak English, English and live in the US, then they onboard you and start assigning you menial internet tasks. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with this if it sounds like a good fit for you. I just take issue with Shane claiming that you could make $60,000 a year doing jobs like this when the pay is less than $17,000 a year before taxes. So overall, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of social media, it is at this point in the video that Shane takes a full minute of your time to plug a free online webinar, which is presented by some guy named Seth Jared Himes, who Shane claims is a world-renowned expert in digital marketing. He's like the world-renowned expert on helping people get into the career. I'd have to assume this is either an affiliate link or Shane has a vested interest in the company. He links to a few free courses like this in his YouTube bio and provides discount codes for a couple of them. Gotta love it when a free course has a $50 discount code. The webinar itself is a staggering one hour and 42 minutes long, and in the words of John Boys, I watched it, but I'm not going to show you the video because looking directly at it is very bad for you. It's essentially just some guy reading slides off a of Prezi, and after 75 minutes, he drops the news that his course is an extremely reasonable $800. I want to circle back to the disclaimer in Shane's video description where he says, information shall not be construed as financial advice, but Shane's encouraging you to drop $800 on an online digital marketing course. Sounds like financial advice to me. Seth's webinar isn't the scammiest thing I've ever seen, but it's not great. I'd say about a third of the runtime is dedicated to just talking about all the people he's helped with his course and reading LinkedIn messages that shower him with praise. The other two thirds are just a really basic overview of digital marketing as a career and a pretty poor one at that. I'd say all the information presented in an hour and a half could have been condensed to 20 minutes or so by a better speaker. It even does that false scarcity thing where it tells you you only have so many minutes to sign up because the webinar start soon, even though you can watch the webinar every 15 minutes. And I think that's hilarious because Seth specifically talks about false scarcity in the webinar. If you've watched other webinars, you might have seen a uh, technique called false scarcity. And this is where the webinar tells you, act now or you're going to miss out on the incredible savings. And I don't do that. I can't stand that. Anyway, there's a lot to unpack there that we don't have time for, but maybe I'll do a deep dive into Seth's webinar if there's any demand for it. Moving back to our favorite chickpea dish, the next job Shane talks about is being a NextRep agent at the company NextRep, which is a company that hires for remote customer service positions. Everything seems pretty above board with this one, honestly. The pay that Shane cites is in line with what NextRep quotes in the job description, but it's still a pretty low salary for what can be absolutely grueling work. If you're curious, I try to applying to next rep and they just straight up don't hire out of New York, likely because their wages are too low. So yeah, this one is pretty good. Next on the list is another customer service position for a company called Arise. This is pretty much the same story as next rep. It pays about 30 grand a year and doesn't hire out of a number of US states for one reason or another. Spoiler alert, here's a picture of the states where Arise won't source from and here are the US states with minimum wages higher than $15 an hour. Coincidence? Also, like next rep, the Glassdoor reviews for Arise rise are awful. It seems that training is unpaid, which is a reoccurring theme on this list, management sucks, and the pay is abysmal. Shane gave NextRep a 7 out of 10 and Arise a 7.5 out of 10, when by all accounts these seem like pretty low quality opportunities. I'm getting the impression that Shane is a little out of touch with reality. Because I've got some great videos coming down the line. The next job he discusses is being a translator for pros, which is probably the sketchiest job of the whole list. Shane claims that as a freelancer you can make anywhere from 42 to $70,000 a year, and I'm starting to think that Shane is smoking crack. What is wrong with him? He's on drugs. Oh. He says you need no degree or previous experience aside, of course, fluency in a second language, which if you ask me, that sounds like experience, Shane. There aren't that many jobs on the site, and most of the jobs posted have low word counts and necessitate fluency in pretty obscure languages. I saw listings for Mongolian, Lao, Navajo, Malay, Farsi, and a bunch of others. Again, this might be a great opportunity for you if you speak a foreign language at a native level, but there's absolutely no shot you're making a full-time living trans translating on pros. Shane gives it a 6 out of 10 opportunity score, and I think I'm slowly losing my mind. 
I think I'm losing my mind. Before talking about the next opportunity, Shane asks you to take a moment to send this video to someone else. You know, so he can prey on all of your vulnerable, unemployed friends for money. Go ahead and share it with them. The next job is a virtual assistant on a website called Fancy Hands. Now, why do companies do this remotely? Because they can expect to save as much as 78% in operating costs from getting a VA instead of a traditional in-house employee. Gee, I wonder if it's because they're underpaying them. Supposedly you can make thirty-two dollars to $48,000 a year doing a job like this, but again, I have no idea where Shane gets these numbers. Fancy Hands doesn't indicate earnings potential anywhere on their website, which is pretty cryptic in general. Shane says it's super easy to get started, so I took their little application quiz, got every answer right, and they told me to piss off. Anyone want to mint? Piss off, Toby. Shane gives it a 7.5 out of 10. I give it a zero. Now, this brings up an interesting point. You might be saying, well, Shane's video got 700,000 views. Naturally, these jobs are going to get a large influx of applicants. And yeah, that's kind of the issue here. Not only is Shane misleading people by suggesting jobs that don't have the earnings potential he claims they do, his videos inundate low quality sites with traffic they can't handle and oversaturate the market. And if you have issues getting a job, he can deny any responsibility and say that increased traffic made the job unavailable. He can just shrug his shoulders and continue peddling garbage. We always strive to do the absolute best on this channel to provide the best opportunities for you. The eighth job Shane discusses is being a grader on a website called marcolearning.com. This is a site where you grade student work, and Shane claims you'll make 34 to 56 grand a year, and that it's extremely easy to get into. And it's extremely easy to get into. Once again, this is not the case. A cursory look through their site tells you that there is, in fact, an application process. They only take applications seasonally, and the pay is $14 an hour. So even if you work 40 hours a week, you'll make less than $30,000 a year. And since grading is seasonal and demand-based, the work is not steady. And yeah, this one's pretty good, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Before moving on to the ninth job, Shane pauses to ask you to leave a comment. By the way, comment down below what your favorite job and your favorite company on this list was. Gotta get that sweet, sweet engagement, right Shane? The ninth job is a data collector slash translator at a company called OneForma. Again, he just boldly claims that data translators make forty-eight dollars to $81,000 a year with no source to validate this number. Now, the company OneForma themselves doesn't say exactly how much they pay, doesn't say exactly how much they pay, doesn't say exactly how much they pay, but it would probably be somewhere in that range. Like, do you realize how absurd you sound? I love that he just screenshots a Reddit comment from some rando claiming that they made $1,000 in four days, and that's his source. There's absolutely no context for it, and the commenter doesn't even specify that they're talking about one forma. Like that comment could be from any thread. I looked into that user's comment history and it is actually from a thread about one forma, but it's the only positive comment in the entire thread, which means that Shane or a member of Shane's team specifically went through the thread, sifted through all the negative comments, and then highlighted the single positive comment. If that doesn't prove that he's intentionally misleading people for clicks, I don't know what does. The proof is in the pudding. Back to OneForma, this is another company that Glassdoor absolutely hates. You need to take a bunch of tests to get started, pay is super low, and the work is sparse. Also, Shane just forgets to give this one an opportunity score. He's too busy asking you to subscribe and hit the bell for more great videos. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. This is another thing that bugs me. He makes stupid mistakes like this all the time. And don't get me wrong, I make plenty of mistakes, but it doesn't even feel like he proofreads his scripts or watches his videos with a critical eye before posting them. Number one on the list, which is going to be number one on the list, which is a gameplay recorder. He prioritizes quantity over quality, which bothers me deeply as someone who uses the medium of YouTube to share my art and creativity with the world. There's nothing aesthetic about what Shane produces. His videos are tools to make him money, nothing more. He's not thinking about beauty or even things that excite him. He's literally specifically just trying to get as many views as humanly possible. His excitement comes from external validation. The last job he talks about is another grading job, this time at a company called Literably. Once again, he claims you can make thirty-six to $62,000 a year, but his screenshot doesn't even say greater for Literably. It just says greater in general. And Literably's site just says you can make more than $10 an hour. 
That's it. This is another job that doesn't source from a number of US states, which Shane, of course, fails to mention. He also just blithely claims this is another company that's really easy to get into when there are a number of tests that applicants have to take, it takes two to 12 weeks for literally to get back to you, and they only hire a few months out of the year. They also only pay graders via PayPal, and the amount of work is based solely on demand. Glassdoor reviewers don't hate this one per se, they just make it clear that the work can't be relied on for a full-time income, and that there can be long stretches of time with no work at all. Shane gives this a 7.5 out of 10, which I think is just dandy. We're over here by Cordy to talk about what we've learned today. I spent a lot of time looking into all the companies that Shane talks about, and I applied to almost all of them with little or no success. I wanna emphasize again that there might be some good things in this video for you. The greater opportunities seem like fine jobs if you want a little extra cash on the side, the translation might be clutch if you speak an uncommon language, and these customer service jobs that allow you to work from home can be a great fit for your lifestyle. All the jobs that Shane talks about are real jobs. Real people work them, and that's fine. Where I take issue, is with how he exaggerates the upsides and downplays or completely fails to discuss the downsides. And the weird part is, I don't know what he stands to lose by just telling people the truth. This video could easily have been called 10 entry level work from home jobs that you can apply for today. That is a true statement, but he says these jobs are always hiring and his thumbnail says $40 an hour, which he mentions absolutely nowhere in the video. Shane is an entrepreneur. I understand that. And if he wants to run his YouTube channel like a business, that's his prerogative. I just want to make it clear that he can't just say whatever he wants for clicks and not be scrutinized. Shane, if you see this for some reason, I hope you know that everything that I've said in this video comes from a place of love. You seem like a cool dude and your videos have probably helped a lot of people, but you also lie through your teeth and you don't have to. I know that you can do better, and I hope to God that you try. And to the viewer, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. All of my research is linked in the description, as well as a few ways you can support my channel if you feel so inclined. I have a podcast with my friend Kylie that I'm really proud of, as well as an admittedly premature Patreon page if you're interested in supporting me. And if not, that's fine too. Until the next one.